Hi friend! Today we're diving into a showdown between two EING devices that sit on opposite ends of the price spectrum. On one side we have the premium Booksnote Air 4C and on the other we have the budget-friendly Penstar eNote tablet. The big question is, is it worth spending extra on the Books device? And if it is, just how much of a difference does that extra cash make? I'll be digging into the value for money each device offers and figuring out whether going for the cheaper Penstar eNote means sacrificing features you actually care about. Let's talk numbers real quick. The Penstar eNote bundled with a pen, magnetic cover and replacement nibs comes in at $339. The Booksnote Air 4C with the same type of accessories is priced at $500. That's about 32% more or an extra $161 to be precise. I know not everyone wants to splurge and sometimes you just want the best bang for your buck without breaking the bank. So I will be showing you side by side shots of these two devices to help you decide which one fits your needs and your wallet. Let's jump right in. Let's break down the tech specs of these two devices so we can see what's under the hood. Starting with the processors. The Booksnote Air 4C packs a mid-range Snapdragon 690 5G which has 8 cores running at 2 GHz. On the other hand, the Penstar eNote uses a more entry-level Rockchip RK3566 processor with 4 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. When it comes to RAM, the difference is clear. Books comes with 6 GB while the Penstar has 2 GB. For most ink tasks, 2 GB may do the job, but that extra RAM in the books can give it a boost for your multitasking and handling heavier apps, which I will discuss later in the video. Storage is another area where the books takes the lead, offering 64 GB of internal space plus an SD card slot that supports up to 2 TB. Meanwhile, the Penstar comes with 32 GB of storage. Honestly, in my personal experience, 32 GB has been plenty for notes, books, and quite a bit of PDFs and apps, so this may not be a deal breaker for everyone. Now let's talk about battery life, where the Penstar truly shines. It has a massive 6000 mAh battery and in my testing it lasted around 2 to 2.5 two weeks of regular daily use, which is outstanding. Compare that to the book's 3700 mAh battery, which I found lasts about 3-4 days under the similar usage conditions. Why the big difference? I'd say it's a mix of factors. The books runs Android 13, which is known for power consumption, has a more powerful CPU and GPU, and uses a front-lit color display, all of which drain the battery faster. Speaking of the operating system, the books is ahead here with Android 13, while the Penstar is running Android 11. This is something to keep in mind because Android 11 reached its end of life on February 5th, 2024, meaning no more security updates or patches are available. So depending on what matters most to you, power, storage or battery life, you're starting to see where these devices differ. Now that we've seen the tech specs on paper, let's talk about real life performance. Sure, the Booksnote Air 4C has a faster CPU, more RAM and more storage, but does it actually feel faster when you're using it? Let's find out. First up, I tested reading a PDF comic book. Both devices have regal technology, which lets you adjust the refresh mode for smoother page turns without the annoying flicker. In both normal and ultra refresh modes, page turns were equally fast on both devices. That said, switching to ultra mode does introduce some noticeable ghosting and a loss in quality on both devices, but it makes the page turn super quick and keeps flickering to a minimum. Next. I looked at navigating menus and settings and honestly, both devices handled this really, really well. Whether I was jumping into the library, notes or settings, they felt almost identical in speed, smooth and responsive. But here's where the book starts to pull ahead, browsing the web. When I opened the website using the Ying Bro browser, the difference was clear. The Penstar's slower processor and smaller RAM meant it took longer to load pages and scrolling wasn't as smooth. And don't get me wrong, it's still usable, but you're not going to want to open too many tabs or run multiple apps in the background. The books on the other hand felt snappier, handled more tabs and loaded content faster. When it comes to writing though, both devices impressed me. 
There was no lag on either one and the overall experience was smooth and satisfying. Finally, for reading EPUB books, both devices were fantastic. With fast refresh options turned on, I had a great reading experience on both with minimal flicker and no major hiccups. So while the books does have an edge when it comes to heavier tasks like browsing and handling multiple apps, both devices perform surprisingly well for reading and writing. Two of the main reasons you'd probably buy an ink tablet in the first place. Before we jump to the next section, I just want to ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video. Appreciate your support. When it comes to ink devices, the display is everything. That's why I wanted to give it its own section and really dive into the details here. Because while both devices have 10.3 inch screens, they couldn't be more different. Let's start with the Books Note Air 4C. This device features a Kaleido 3 Carta 1200 glass screen with a color display capable of showing 4096 colors. Sounds impressive, right? But there's a catch. It's a much darker screen by default, so the front light becomes essential, especially in dim lighting. I talked about this in my full review of the Books Note Air 4C, and it's pretty standard for Kaleido 3 technology. On the bright side, pun intended, it also has a warrant light, which is fantastic for reading at night without straining your eyes. Now, let's look at the Penstar eNote. It has a Carta HD black and white display with a lower resolution compared to the books. The screen is naturally brighter when using it without any backlight. However, this great brightness comes with a trade-off. It doesn't have a capacitive touch layer, meaning you can't use your fingers to navigate. Instead, you will rely solely on the pen or the physical side buttons. Is this a big deal? Well, yes and no. If you're someone who likes the tactile feel of the pen, you will probably be fine. But if you lose the pen, you're in trouble, because without it, you lose most of the device functionality. And here's another thing to consider. If Penstar decides to discontinue this device or it becomes hard to find the replacement pen, the tablet could become basically unusable. That's a risk you may want to keep in mind before going all in on this option. So the choice depends here on what's more important to you, a colorful and more versatile display like the books or a simpler black and white display with fever bells and whistles like the Penstar. Both have their pros and cons and your preference will likely come down to your specific needs. Let's talk about writing experience because that's one of the main reasons people buy e-ink tablets like these. And honestly, both devices deliver solid performance in the area, but with a few differences. Starting with the Penstar eNode, the writing surface has a certain roughness to it, almost like sandpaper. Well, okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but it definitely has a unique texture that gives it a paper-like feel. Personally, I find this texture really satisfying because it mimics the sensation of writing on actual paper. The Books Note Air 4C, on the other hand, feels much smoother. It has a protective foil on the screen that's not meant to be removed, and this gives it a glassier feel. This one comes down to personal preference. If I had to pick one, I'd lean towards the Penstar for writing, just because the texture is closer to paper, and I find it more enjoyable. Now, as far as responsiveness, both devices do a fantastic job. They're snappy and quick to respond to drawing or writing with barely any noticeable lag when viewed with the naked eye. Of course, if you slow down a video recording, you will spot some lag, but in day-to-day -day use, it's minimal and really not that noticeable at all. Bottom line, whether you go for the Penstar's textured feel or the book's smoother finish, you're getting a great experience either way. Let's also touch on features, as there are a few key things to highlight here. In terms of hardware features, as mentioned before, the books has a front light and warm light, which makes it super comfortable to use in bed or any darker environment. It also has a fingerprint reader that allows you to quickly unlock the device. Pretty awesome feature, to be honest. Both of them are great feature, and once you experience them, you will find yourself missing it on the device like the Penstar that doesn't have them. Speaking of missing things, while using both devices, I really felt the lack of the touchscreen on the Penstar. You either use the pen or assign a function to one of the side buttons. It works, but it feels a bit limiting, especially compared to the books, which has a capacitive touchscreen that just makes the daily use so much smoother and more intuitive. When it comes to software features, both devices are absolutely packed. You've got split screen modes, screenshot capabilities, full screen refresh, and even things like the navigational ball on the books for easier multitasking. There's so much customization here that I could honestly spend an hour just walking you through all the options. 
That said, when comparing the two, the Books Note Air 4C edges ahead slightly. It has more features overall and they feel a little more refined and polished in how they're implemented. Overall, when it comes to Android Ink devices, these two sit at the top tier for the features they offer and how much you can expand on them by installing third-party apps. Compared to something like the Remarkable, these devices feel like feature-packed powerhouses. You will definitely need some more time to explore everything they can do. So after spending time with both the Books Note Air 4C and the Penstar E Note, here's where I stand. Both devices bring their own strengths to the table, but they're clearly aimed at slightly different audience. The Books Note Air 4C is for those who want an all-around premium experience. The color display, front light, warm light, and capacitive touch make it incredibly versatile, especially if you're someone who uses their e-ink device throughout the day in various settings. However, it comes at a higher price tag and the shorter battery life is something to consider. On the other hand, the Penstar E-Note shines when it comes to battery life and that textured writing experience, which feels closer to writing on real paper. But the lack of a touchscreen and some of the advanced features make it feel a little bit limited in comparison, especially for daily multitasking. That said, at a more affordable price, it's a fantastic choice if you're looking for great value and are okay with working around some of those limitations. So which one would you pick or would you prefer a different ink device altogether? Let me know in the comments below as I'd love to hear your thoughts. And before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel as I've got new content and waiting for Kindle Scribe and Supernote A5X2 to be released and reviewed. And if you want to do a deep dive into either of these devices, check out the in-depth reviews I've done. They're right here on the screen waiting for you. Trust me, they're worth a watch. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.